What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another video. This is DB43 here, as always. We are back with another diecast review. This one specifically is going to be on Dino Drafsky from the 2018 Piston Cup Racers diecast collection. This is, of course, another one of my 2018 diecast reviews. This is a part of 2018 Singles Case B along with a couple other great ones as well. As you guys see, he is the stock car clutch A number 121 racer. He also does come with the bonus collector card, so that's a nice little addition. So we also will be taking a look at the collector card, not just the actual diecast itself, but also the little collector card that is shown on the bottom of the packaging, which we'll be able to get a much better view of it out of the package, of course. If you guys are wondering where I was able to pick this guy up, I actually didn't pick it up. I should more so say that I got it offline because I did not find this one in a store. I was actually able to get it online for a decent price, 15 bucks, which is definitely not a bad deal at all, at least for the time now. So let's go right into the review of it, shall we? So, of course, as you guys see, we have Dino Drafsky and White Text in the red name tag right there. Looks pretty cool. Of course, we have the bonus collector card logo in multiple languages. Of course, this is a 2018 release. It's going to have all the multiple languages on the packaging. So, you can also see the different languages for the warning choking hazard. The art of Dino. The background is a blurred picture of the desert near Radiator Springs. The updated cars logo. Of course, right here, it does say he's in the Piston Cup Racer Series. And we do have a little Piston Cup icon in the top right hand corner here's the back and you can see Jack the Post Rex Reveler the tr stock car trans -ray juice competitor which his name is Marcus Krinksler and Rev Rudges the stock car vinyl toupee racer both of these cars have re recently been found by some people in the United States at their local Target so that'll be very amazing if I find them one day I'm not sure if I ever will but you know it's always a possibility and it definitely will be great since I'll get it for store price and don't have to pay the extra prices on eBay or online retailers of of course, the picture you can see McQueen, Cal, and Bobby. This was right after Jackson Storm came out of nowhere, and McQueen was really um, confused on who he was and all that good stuff. We have the Piston Cup logo, the Cars logo up there again, and of course a little description that says, Rookies and racing legends alike compete to win the coveted Piston Cup. Enough talking, and let's get Dino Drasky here out of the package, and we will definitely be comparing him to Kevin Schiff right here, the Cars 1 Clutch Aid Racer. Here we got Dino Draska here out of the package looking great. And now I usually do start off with the die cast review and then I end off with the overlook of the bonus collector card. But this time we're going to switch it up a little bit. I'm now going to do the bonus collector card before the die cast as I feel like the die cast is definitely a lot more of an important thing than the collector card because that's probably like the main reason why people buy these, of course, for the new characters. So I kind of want to save them for last. So we're going to get right into the collector card here. So as you guys see, the collector card is amazing. It definitely matches Dino's design with the Clutch Aid more modern look. Definitely a lot more modern than it was in 2006. You have Clutch Aid. It says Clutch Plus Aid, I guess you could say. And the background is like a 3D bandage. Like you can see the little green portion in the middle, and then the darker green in the back. I really do like that design. And if you look closely. You can kind of see the holes, which would be on bandages as well, like those tiny little indent holes. I'm not ex sure if I'm even making sense. I'm pretty sure you guys know what I'm talking about. You can just, like, vividly see them. But I like how they put the effort into putting them there. We have this nice little cut thing in the background. I believe it's supposed to be a cut, like if you were to cut your leg, for example. Of course, you put a Band-Aid over that. And we have more of the design that is on Dino Drafts Collector's great portion here. That goes up. And, yeah, it's a really nice bonus collector card. On the back, we just have the cards logo with the red and black space right there and do not forget to take this little thing stand thing whatever you want to call it out of the package it's in a little bubble on the bottom do not forget to take it out because of course that is actually what you use to hold up the collector card without it it would not be able to stay it is pretty sturdy as well like even if you were to go like this it's pretty sturdy so yeah I really do recommend these bonus collector cards. I'm not sure if I said this much in any of my other videos that had the bonus collector cards, but I really do like them. I feel like they're a nice display piece and definitely make for great reenactments. Like maybe if you want a speedway, you can probably put this as one of the billboards and stuff like that. You know, it's just a really cool accessory and definitely can be used for a lot of things. 
Now, of course, let's get right on to the review of Dino Drowski. So let's zoom in here. You can see his nice, happy expression looks super determined to race. His mouth is closed, and you can see his brown eyes, flat eyelids. He kind of reminds me of Dud Throttleman, which have in the front portion of him near his mouth, the grill, and the headlights. A different color than the rest of the body, because as you guys see, his main colors are white, green, and blue. Mostly blue, but on the front here, it kind of fades into white, but on the bottom, it has like that vivid blue color. So it kind of reminds me of Dud Throttleman. In a little bit, you can see his air vents on the sides right there. They're super small, though. We have 121 below one of the headlights because, of course, 121 is his number in the piston cup. His headlights look super legit, I must say. They look super real. I love those little details in it. Of course, his grill, which is supposed to represent a mustache in the car's universe. You can see clutch 8 on the hood right here. I like how it's in a diagonal form and not just straight. It kind of mix matches it up a little bit. Nice little change of pace. You see clutch plus 8 with the same band-aid and the little cut in the background as well, which is definitely very, very similar to the one that is shown on the bonus clutch of the car. The only difference I can really spot is that clutch 8 is diagonal on the hood. This one is just straight. So like how they changed it up there. We have light year and white text on the fenders. And his tires are super cool. I like the de detail on the tires as well. There are white rims that I think look good on Dino. I feel like if it was blue, it would have been too much blue. So I like how they made them white. And you can see the little green trim around it as well. Of course, light year tires. The additional Piston Cup sponsors that all the Car Street stock cars legit have the same exact ones on the side, except for McQueen, of course. They are Piston Cup, Vitaline, Revolting, RPM, Nitrate, Octane Gain, and Clutch Aid. We have 121 again with a nice little green outline around it. There, of course, is a little red arrow which indicates to a pit crew where to lift a car up to do tire to do work on the tires. And that was something that was not on the Cars 1 stock cars, so I like that little detail. And you can see some little black dots. These are on most of the cars stock cars as well if you guys haven't noticed we have clutch a in the back right here the same little bandage with the little cut in the background we see some more blue and now on the back it's actually mostly light which is kind of cool because if you look at it in the back it looks like he's mostly a white car with some blue and green throughout but if you look at him in the front it looks like he's blue with some green and white throughout so i like that little change and i really do like how the back is white and the Front is blue. I feel like it's a really nice design, in my opinion. This side is essentially identical to the other side. Of course, the only difference is that this side has the addition of the gas cap, which goes over the aid and clutch aid a little bit, but that's fine. It's not most of the cars. We stock cars like that anyway, and I feel like it's kind of cool, actually. We see 121 on the hood, and you can see the blue fading into the white as you get more toward the back. The black window bars. On the back right here, we have clutch plus A with the little camera. So you have great shots of racing for TV and stuff like that. Tail lights, some more of the engine things in the back right here. Exhaust. I was looking for the word, and then I couldn't find it, but yeah. They are exhaust. You see 121 right there again with a little black stripe. Blue stripe, I mean, my bad. And of course, you can see his little white spoiler with clutch A again. And he also has a black base with some Mattel information on it. Of course, Dino Drowski here appeared in Cars 3, did not have any speaking lines, just a background character. He appeared mostly in the beginning of the movie, or actually it was only the beginning of the movie. And the one shot I definitely remember seeing him noticeably was one shot in the Motor Speedway of the South. I don't know how to describe it, but hopefully I can find a picture to put it on the screen right now, and you guys will be able to see exactly what photo I'm talking about. But I do know one part where we're able to see Dino pretty clearly, but he was still just a background character, did not have have any speaking lines for sure. Of course, like all Car Street stock cars, they got replaced by Next Gen, so since he's a Clutch Aid Racer, he got replaced by the Next Gen Clutch Aid Racer, which has not been revealed yet to be released as a diecast, nor has his name been revealed yet, so a lot of clueless facts on him at the moment. We don't know really that much of the Next Gen Clutch Aid. He may be re released this year, but who knows? We're just going to have to wait and see. But of course, let's get on to the comparison with the other Clutch Aid Racer from Cars, one that does actually uh, have a name and has gotten a release. So here we got the two of them in comparison. The Clutch A company definitely seems to have evolved over time. They seem to have gone to more of a lighter blue color, most certainly, because the old blue is more like a navy blue, super dark, almost going to like a blackish sort of color, but this one is pretty stand out forward blue. I can definitely notice the blue more on this one than on this one, a lot more lighter. Looks like the green has also gone a little bit lighter, just slightly though, but definitely not much of a change as the blue coloring has, and of course, different models, different characters... 
So yeah, they are really nice die cast. They even have the same rims because Kevin also had white rims, or they're sort of grayish, but similar colored rims. So I like how they kept the rim color, just slightly different, but relatively the same. They even have the same eye color. Both of them have brown eye colors, which is pretty cool. So let me know in the comment section down below, who is your favorite clutch aid racer, Kevin Schiffright or Dino Drafsky? So far, these are the only two Clutch Aid Racers that Mattel has released. There was never any team members for Clutch Aid release, but of course, I'm pretty sure we will eventually get the next-gen Clutch Aid Racer. But so far, these are the only Clutch Aid team members that we have ever gotten. Alright, well, so I'm about to wrap up this video while showing Dino Drafsky with his collector cards, since these are the two things that we took a look at in this video. So, if everyone who did watch enjoyed this diecast review of Dino Drafsky here, now I know your rating on a scale of 1 to 10 of him, and I really do give him a great rating, so I think he's a really nice diecast, and it feels great to finally have another Clutch Aid Racer, and this more, more modern look. Really makes him my really makes me like him a lot. So anyway, hope everyone who did watch enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for your crazy for recently. I'll see you guys all next time in the next video. Peace out.